Belize cites third governor general sworn into office today, May 27, on the grounds of what was once the home of the late first governor general, Dr. Damonita Gordon. Her Excellency Froila Elida Salam is not only being celebrated as the new head of state, but is also being recognized as the first Belizean indigenous woman of the Commonwealth to hold such a post. It was on May 5 when the official announcement came from the government of Belize that Salam's appointment had been approved by Buckingham Palace. Her decision to accept such a prestigious post came with much thought, as she attested to in a pre-recorded interview. It was a bittersweet decision because that's exactly what I thought about. But the question I ask myself is where am I more relevant? Where can I make a difference? And I believe that I can make that difference in my new role. Because no longer is it just about the aspirations of the Maya people, but about all Belizeans. The 90-minute event saw Her Excellency take her oath of office at around 10 o'clock in the morning, following the pomp and circumstance, including entertainment by the Dear Dancers of Otosha Toledo, as well as contributions from the indigenous community. Among the presentations made was an address by the Secretary General of the Commonwealth, Patricia Scotland. Her Excellency's background is impressive. Whilst she is a rural development and resource management specialist, her extensive work in enhancing education across the country has been truly remarkable and inspiring. This has been rooted in her strong academic background, which has endowed her with a deep understanding of the communities that make up the Belizean population. As an anthropologist and the first indigenous woman to be appointed to the post, the Governor General's experience expertise will help to deepen understanding, unity and resilience within the Belizean nation and will build on the far-reaching work that her predecessor, Sir Colville Norbert Young, has undertaken throughout his remarkable 28-year tenure. Administrating the Oath of Allegiance for the new Governor General was the Acting Chief Justice Michelle Arana. Madam Governor General, I don't think we need to talk about all that you have done and what you have represented. Um, you are the embodiment of a modern Belizean woman, also proud of your heritage, and, um, and you make me so proud, and you make Belizeans so proud that you have given us that honor and privilege to represent us. I must tell you that um, today we said that we have once again, um, made history by having the first Governor General of um, Indigenous um, descent. And now we hear now that um, New Zealand wants to copy us. <laughs> they are being number two. We are number one. To the Governor General, thank you very much. Salute. The energy at the old government house, now referred to as the House of Culture, was one of Jubilee whilst giving the feel of a new beginning. Following the official ceremony, Prime Minister John Bersenio raised a toast to Her Excellency Salam, expressing pride and joy in his administration's selection. Could you repeat after me, please? I, I, Froila Salam, Froila Salam, do solemnly and sincerely, do solemnly and sincerely, affirm and declare, affirm and declare, that I will bear true faith, that I will bear true faith and allegiance, and allegiance to Belize. To Belize. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Her, her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Her heirs and successors. Her heirs and successors. And will uphold the constitution and the law. And will uphold the constitution and the law. And that I will conscientiously. And that I will conscientiously. Impartially. Impartially. And to the best of my ability and to the best of my ability, discharge my duties as Governor General of Belize. Discharge my duties as Governor General of Belize. And do right to all manner of people. And do right to all manner of people. Without fear or favor. Without fear or favor. Affection or ill will. Affection or ill will. So help me God. So help me God. The newly installed 50-year-old Governor General is a Mopan Mayan woman with a master's degree in rural development and a bachelor's in anthropology. Her long list of career experiences, 
comes from being the co-director of the African and Maya History Program under the Ministry of Education, where she trained teachers across Belize in cultural education. She was once the director of the Institute of Social and Cultural Research and served a period at the helm of the Sarstun Tamash Institute for Indigenous Management, Belize's only Maya community environmental organization. Describing her emotions as overwhelming and bittersweet, Her Excellency Froyla Salam addressed the gathering in a near 12-minute address. Jo si tulakala kenesh oye, i etela kenesh tansha wikon aga kenada hi. Botik te asanto wise, botik te asanto hoko. I am honored to stand before you today as a Belizean Mopan woman and to express my deep humility and gratitude for this recognition. I am very aware of the responsibility that comes from holding this office, and I will do my work as I have done elsewhere, with passion and commitment to do good to the best of my ability. While the installation of a Mopan woman as a Governor General can be seen as a symbolic milestone, it should not be seen as willfully ignoring our colonial past. Rather, it is a new chapter in Belize's evolution as a country for all and by all. I intend to carry out the constitutional role of this office with the required diligence. It is also my hope that time will permit me to carry out more than my constitutional duties. George Price, our first Prime Minister, reached out to all Belizeans to weave an invisible thread of nationhood. I would like to serve as a visible thread between communities and the government. People need to see and talk to their leaders to feel that their opinion matters. I intend to travel all over this country, meeting you, learning about you, so that I can be the best Governor General. Her Excellency Salam succeeds His Excellency Sir Calvin Young. The ceremony concluded just before 11 o'clock this morning and was followed by a brief reception. Reporting for Love News, I am Renee Trujillo.